Coherent. Now, if there's any atheist in the listening audience who wants to come in and say that your atheism is, um, oh, okay. Hi. Okay, good. Can you please explain shalom. to me how your atheism is coherent? Just want to say shalom, Merry Christmas to Das, praise, and Orge, my favorite atheist. Hey, Gavin, Merry okay. Christmas. Okay, so, so Orge, can you tell me how your atheism is coherent? How my atheism is coherent? Um, I, I, I suppose I can have a go at it, sure. Um, I guess I don't really explain what you mean by coherent for me, please. So I so I answer the question. Correctly. Well, first of first of all, when we look at the word atheism in the English language, we look at the vast majority of reference works, including dictionaries, encyclopedias, and philosophical dictionaries. Atheism is the disbelief and denial of all gods, okay? So that would include the disbelief and denial that there's a supreme being and a creator God from which all things derive and depend, okay? So your position is that that, that is not true. So you're affirming by atheism that you're in a not god world so how is that how sure, do you instantiate can, that. that and how is that coherent um well i i am in by no way shape or form trying to be a philosopher of these topics that's not my repertoire at all so i can only give my personal opinion on it and uh, my personal opinion is i have yet to find reason to believe so therefore i um default to the null position of lack of yeah yeah this is the typical response that i get from atheists okay there is not a there is not there is not a null position this is a myth i can easily disprove that okay all right okay now if there are facts and i'm sure that you believe that there are facts facts can only exist within two ontological and opposing uh, models of reality or frames of reference. So a fact will either derive and depend upon God as creator or not, okay? So do you understand we have A or not A? Facts either derive from A or they derive from not A. So now, you're, you're now, saying- I'm not done so, yet. No, okay? so let, let me respond, I'll please. be done in a second. I'll be done in a second, okay? So what I've just explained to you is you believe there are facts. Facts can and do not, they cannot be invoked to exist in a null environment. Well, you just said not A. Not A would be the null environment. No, that, that's incorrect. Null, null would be, okay, so if you're using the word null as not, I thought you were referring to the null hypothesis. Is that correct? Well, I'm using, I'm, I'm using null colloquially to mean okay. something doesn't exist. So, okay, if, good. If so God how is it? Exist, okay, the no. null would be the not exist. All right, good. So, God does not exist because fill in the blank. God does not exist because I have not seen a reason for him to exist. Okay, that's oh, a non sequitur. That, that's a non sequitur. Okay, Orge, what you just said is a non sequitur. Do you know what a non sequitur is? Um, I think it'd be easier if you gave me your opinion. Your a non sequitur is something that does not logically and necessarily follow. The fact that you may be in a state of ignorance, it doesn't follow, therefore, that God does not exist. And in fact, what you just said is the fallacy entitled. I, I have let no me, problem. Let me, let me, may I finish, please? I'm trying to answer you, your question. I, I, no, I, yeah, you're, you're interrupting me. I didn't finish. I'm trying to explain ah. to you something. I will shut up shortly yeah the okay. son of fish or gave the one that should have the what you have committed I, when you say i don't have a reason to believe in god therefore god does not exist that is the fallacy the logical fallacy called argumentum ad ignorantum all right and what that what that fallacy is is this is if we have two propositions is if one proposition a has f somebody has failed to establish its truth or falsity right then the opposite uh proposition is true okay not god is true because somebody has failed to establish the truthfulness of the god position that is your position correct mm, 
yeah, I, I'll go with that. Sure. Okay, that's okay. That's the fallacy of an appeal to ignorance. It's called um, uh, argumentum ad ignorantum. Right. That not X, not X is true because X has been failed to be demonstrated or to convince me that's true. That's a okay. logical so fallacy. What you're saying. Okay, so uh, hold on, hold on. So what your position is, is a logical fallacy. Okay. So uh, is your claim here, and I I'd like this to be a back and forth if possible, instead of a, um, you know, I'd like to respond when it's timely on my end. That I think that'd make this go a lot smoother for me. I have many beers in, and I'm not going to stay up that late anyways. So... <laughs> Um, is you are you trying to argue, say to me that uh, since it's a logical fallacy, I should therefore accept the premise without evidence? What, why should I accept the premise without evidence? Because you're saying uh, it's, it's, I haven't, it's, it's I haven't really made, my my, end, right? I haven't made, I haven't made my case for God yet. No, okay? it's true. the question but that is at hand. My, the question, wait a minute, did you ask argument. me a question? Well, I, I, let me expand. Did you ask me a question? I should be able to. Did you ask me a question? I'm answering you. I would like. I'd like to. Expand are you? Did you ask me a me. question, or are you just going to act like a child now and not let me finish? I want to expand before you okay, answer. Good. So you understand okay. Okay. Listen now. to me carefully. I'll. I'll be. I'll be done in a, in a second. Okay. Okay. I haven't made a case for the existence of God yet. You came in here and you were asked a question. How is your atheism coherent? That's what we're discussing right now. But what commonly unbelievers, what you do is bait and switch. Because you fail to present the coherence and intelligibility of your atheism, you immediately want to change the subject to me supporting my theism, which I'm fine. I'm more than happy to defend my Christian theism, but we haven't gotten there yet. So your atheism, you said that it's coherent. Right. But the reason that you gave is a logical fallacy. So do oh, yeah. you still consider your God denialism? Coherent? What, I'm, what I wanted to expand upon was. Can you please answer my last not, question? I'm trying to if you'd let me. No, talk. you're not. All right. So you are going to answer my last question. <laughs> well, I'm attempting to. Can can you stop? Okay, talking what so what can, was my last question? Talk? Man. OK, so I again, what was my I'm last question? Me, be as in, do, Follow this rambling because just let me. No, I'm not I'm rambling. Not I just want to make sure that you understood what my last it, question was. Am I not going to be able to discuss here without you? You may. Okay. Can you repeat back to me the let my question that I, I asked? You? I, I'm going to use my words, Darth. I'm not going to. That's I will fine. Speak Can you my, repeat back to me in your truth, words okay? what my question was? I was just trying to expand upon my original point that I brought up like five okay, minutes okay, ago. Orge, like can you that. please? Can you? I when I left off. Before you started speaking, okay, I asked you a question. Did I not? I, I was trying to finish my sentence. Did I and you ask you a me. question? I'd like to. I'd like to you see. This is this is here. what we inevitably find. I, there with is no inevitable. Like here. It ends in, a, in, in an absolute clusterfuster. Listen carefully. You, you cut me off. I'm going like to ask you the question again. I'm going to ask you the question again, and then I will shut up. I have an this, expectation this is a conversation. that you I will answer. Asking. No, listen to me carefully. If listen, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. I'm going to ask the question, and then I will shut up. And I expect you to answer the question. Talk. I will let you talk, but you won't let me finish so that I can turn the table over to you to talk. Now, here's my question. Since your defense of the intelligibility of atheism is the argumentum ad ignorantum fallacy, do you have any line other any other line of reasoning that can defend the intelligibility of atheism? All right. So I'm for sake of conversation, I'm willing to bypass my original statement, which was a conversation about that um, logical fallacy. I, I can bypass that. Fine. Reasons why I do not believe a God exists beyond the fact that I haven't been shown a God exists. That's what you're asking me. Uh, do you have listening problems? I want to make sure I understand okay. the question. Do you acknowledge? Do you acknowledge first and foremost? That your opening line of reasoning is the fallacy of argumentum ad ignorantum. It's an appeal I, to no, ignorance. No, well, one, not really, and two, I like. Okay, to then we're going to have to go over it again. 
then you we're going to have to go a, over it a, again. A, a, you call it a logical fallacy doesn't shut down the conversation. Okay. All right. Orge, that's listen what carefully. To, that's why I Orge, to ask you Orge, listen. Was that logical Orge, fallacy? But you don't want to talk about that. Dude, listen to me. You're being argumentative like a 13-year-old child who is ADD, who didn't get his morning Ritalin, and he's bickering at the cafeteria table. Now, listen carefully to me, okay? If we have a proposition and it's negation, A or not A, okay? If it's a true dichotomy, right? Ontologically speaking, something will either be A or not A, ontologically. I'm fine now, with that. What you are saying is not A is to be reckoned as true because A has not been shown to be true. That sure. is what your position is. That is the fallacy of an argumentum ad ignorantum. It's an appeal to ignorance. It is a logical fallacy. Now, do you accept or do you not accept that you committed a logical fallacy in defense of your atheism? <laughs> yes, this is the conversation I wanted to have. I am questioning that logical fallacy in this. Wait a minute. Did I just ask you a question? I just answered it. No, it was not an answer to my question, what you just came out of your mouth. <laughs> I said, do you recognize the analysis of, of what I just gave to what you said, that your rationale that God does not exist is the fallacy of what is called an appeal to ignorance? Hey, nice knock face. Again, okay. do you understand that you committed the fallacy of appeal to ignorance? Yes, I get like two words in and Doth starts talking again. Can I can I have like I asked you a, a question? I expect it at least. No, so I what I want to know out. is listen no, to me. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. I, I want I, you to I, I are, are you going to answer the, my my question? I keep trying to, but you keep interrupting. No, you don't. Okay. Oh, Did I you don't. commit? Oh, here's the question. Did you commit an appeal to ignorance, the fallacy of an appeal to ignorance? Ah, <sighs> okay. You've said the same question like 15 times did in the you, past Yeah, did 10 you minutes. commit that fallacy? I'm trying to answer it. Let me answer it without you interrupting me over and over again. Please? I'm I waiting for this answer. time. Please let me answer. Okay, go ahead and answer. answer. Thank you, Grace. So, I accept that that's a logical fallacy. You you can't necessarily disprove A by not ha by having ignorance of A. I accept that's okay. a logical fallacy. So yes. your opening if, uh, defense of so, atheism and, and is here a fallacy. we go. I'm, he's talking again. Yeah. So okay. you just admitted you committed a fallacy. <laughs> I, I I was like, could you not see the comma in that sentence? I was not done with the sentence. Okay. Good. Now. So good. So you committed a fallacy. Fine. Then we're, we're done. We're so in I'm trying to finish the fallacy. sentence. It, yeah. Okay. Finish your it, sentence. Oh, thank you. I can finish my sentence. It's so kind of you. Yeah, dude, so, dude, you are a child. The question I am trying to get body. out this entire time is You are wasting our time. You questions. are just blathering incoherent. I am wondering what I am wondering, Doth, is should is it lot do you believe it is logical for me to accept A without evidence of A based on the fact that I can avoid the logical I fallacy I of we haven't even we we haven't even begun to discuss that issue. The issue at hand is this. Is your atheism coherent? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now, your opening line of reasoning, was it a fallacy defending the coherence of atheism? My opening position was that yeah, Give me a position. favor. If this would is you like to, Shane, would I like, would you like me to give a different okay, argument? We're not, we're not dealing with Since them. we get keep okay. going nowhere here, I can Hold try a, a different second. argument if you prefer. This isn't your Discord yep. server. Pray, pray, praise I am. Please, please remove him. This, this Are you kidding me? Hi, Smokey. Clown. Are you Yours, kidding me? Yeah, this You're is, a joke if you can't okay, hit listen him to even me. being Every in a room. time I've had to deal with this guy, he's an unhinged a -hole. You were yeah. unhinged in the last now, conversation. Now, now, I'm awesome asking you as a friend, please remove as a friend. You don't have friends. You have a conversation here. You don't have friends. You have just minions. Just I'm asking you. Game. He is just ruining the interaction. Please remove I wasn't going to say anything. Praise. Yeah. I'll ask you again. You addressed Please me. I wasn't going to say anything. Uh, okay. I, listen I, to I, me. I, would, I understand, Please. Bert, but he's a buddy of mine, too. I just can't Okay. Remove okay. Him, listen Sorry. Listen to me. Well, he's untrustworthy, okay? He's unhinged. He's unruly. And he makes the most 
uh, outrageous accusation of, a, of, of, of somebody somebody who is a great theater. Yeah, no, I'm no I, I have in the past. Listen to me. To where where I can actually have you, a second. I'm, I'm asking, asking you so as a bad. friend, if you want yeah. to invite him on after See, I'm over. See, he wants a room where he can over talk to me and can't let me talk. That's the only Are you going to keep him in the room or remove him? Wow. I'm keeping him in the room, Doris. And okay, like, hey, 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 praise. I won't be back to your channel, okay? Wow, I really? Ask you politely. Are yeah, you a child you like that? Really? You're a child like, wow. That's incredible. I mean, that's the most me, childish thing I've ever seen. He put seen. me in between. I'm, I'm picking smoking every time. Man, you're, you're my I, buddy. You're my brother. Well, thanks, Christ. praise. I, I, you know, I didn't mean to put you in a spot like that. No. I wasn't expecting oh. that. I wasn't even ex I would never no, make such, I saw, such a bombastic. I saw